Hello, long time no see. I would like to present to you some good news. More than young demo can be downloaded right now on Steam. Play it and give me some feedback, okay? So it's been a while since my last that vlog. Let me go through a new feature we will talk about today. Like every feature, I promise back in the vlog one, a implement and some more. Excited? Get go! <laughs> My new capsule and star screen art. I'm really proud of this one. This is just in game screen song with some little cut up. Do you believe it? Wow. So let's go over what I implement. More platform ties, spinning, rotating, dialogue system, small symbol quest. See that projectile? That's new too. And you can jump and balance yourself on both animated platform. And one more important thing. But fine, who oh, yeah. One more feature, not so in the clip is you can destroy environment and do the fragment at the projectile too. After defeating a boss, you can learn its signature skill. And the skills can be useful in the level like Pokemon, each can have its unique use. Like with this spinning wheel, you can cut things. Good stuff, huh? Compared to the block one, there are a lot to unpack here. Let's talk about the demo stack. I decide to go with Dark Castle and Skeleton Team. Pretty old school stuff, huh? The purpose of the demo is to show player what the game is like. I will pack the core mechanic and gameplay loop in it. Though I'm battle, loot chest, small quest, boss battle, and learn skills. And of course, some platforming. I decide to make a game I wanna play. At first, you might see it's trying to be too many kind of game. But on the other hand, it only tried to be my kind of game. What elements I like in Mega Man, Zelda, Lord Dra, Devil May Cry will be condensed in this modern genre experience. After building the level, I use Ray Pi to break the Dragon Ball to fragments and for random to reform to their original set. At the time I make it, I just do because I think it would be cool. Later in development, I turned this feature into a small quest. The main enemy of this dark castle will be the skeleton guard. One scale is not a problem, but they will move in hard. And next up is the bat, a flying unit. I use the same character controller for the bat as all the enemy. No special flying character controller. They just use the jump function at flap and they can flap anytime on the ground unit who only able to jump when they are around it. There you go, done simple enemy for the demo. Next, let's work on the boss. It is the design and making process of the skeleton general boss. It is a honky skeleton with broken ammo. Looking good, huh? I like honky guys. Let's see all of these melee attacks. Some will have hot EOE, so be careful when you see this movement. This spinning attack will be his signature move. Back to enemy coding, I give some a uh, reposition feature. When you move too near, they will try to reposition to attack. Look more lively when the behavior is more complex, right? I report the damage system to U-ray cast instead of contact collision. Notice the orange shell. This is the debug for the atmosphere to cast and collect its data. Ray cast is more reliable than contact collision. For example, if an around is too fast, it can pass through a collider. But ray cast from left frame to current frame will not miss anything. Look at this clock. Don't they look amazing? The game now have better clock movement, but when they go into attack mode, their movement will not improve. I would like to have that fluid clock movement in any mode, but that is for later research. While that thing, I noticed if the clock is not aggressive, you can jump on them. Feel super! I will make it into a small quest later. Something like you neutral block to reach a very high location. That will be a fun quest. Battle can be tiresome, so I give you a companion. Not a companion in battle, more like quest and hint giver. Check companion. Do you like cat? With blender, I can give birth to a black cat. Let's test her in game. Okay. 
had an epic loss here. Reminder that you don't play as that in modern turn. This a ball game, remember? Maybe this can be possible in an DLC. <laughs> Take a master effect. Jump on and slam the slam be a promise feature. Just get done now. A jump slam makes better stable platform for jumping. I interact the asset Asian navigation from look at you do CV CS from my enemy. I didn't record the comparison, but in my test, it is much better than Unity navigation package. Better performance, better local avoidance, better movement, it's just better in every way. No side by side comparison, but you can just the skeleton avoid the movement. Do they look natural? Unity Bucket cannot do this. Please support it as said if you have the funds. Let's be an effort to optimize the game. In last iteration, the game then works when there are too many enemies. Deep. This can be 400 FPS when there are 50 enemies and can slow down to 100 when the count be like 70. It really matters to optimize because 100 on my machine is playable, but this can be gentle for player with a potato machine. So I program play zone. This zone has a number of enemies. When the player goes too far from it, the enemy are deactivated. This is more now. Just expecting me thought to optimize. You can have 999 enemies, but only 15 active around player. You can still have 400 FPS. When enemy got too far from the play zone, they will put back. The ramming can be damaging to my brain. So let's go over animation to refresh. This club animation is full bone driven. I first go with Blend Shape, but it does not work with Magical Load 2, so I have to switch to Bone. Look cool. Now it's time to implement Dialog System. I got Dialog System in a Unity Mega Bundle. My mysterious cat can now chat with the ball. You can push the cat. Never mind, this feature is not important. The cat know when you just fall from the wall and disciplines you. You will respond at her feet when you die. Now let's go over to the west spot. The red fat dragon is a furious one with very high attack rate, long range attack and big AOE damage. Anyway, your main goal for this spot is not defeating it. Just be fully right it. Can you do this? Let's see the mini quest gameplay too. Unlike the name would suggest, the dialogue system can handle events and questing too. Those are key quests, update quests, and then quests. The events firing can be seen bound or project bound. A very powerful system, totally recommend. Let's go wrap that big boy. It's kinda scary though. the chest for some tips. I found the high ground. Oh yeah! Now let's Go back to finish the quest. I must be careful of the best. So this is the mini quest for the demo, good enough? After this, I have done the most beautiful feature for a platformer game. The ball can destroy environment now. 
more fun speaker, loading array, I will demolish the first layer. Even his throne is not set on this table. I'm sorry, NPC Chen. Next, I implement the projectile firing for the ball. You see in the form of smacking things around. This keys play a more option for gameplay. For example, if you want to play set, you can do this. The game does not have a difficulty slider. I try to incorporate features like this for player to choose. Just have fun the way you want, I don't trust. Now let's go over a little tutorial for smack and whole thing. See my grabbable object is highlighted and this like vision when the ball be occluded by the environment. This is not a good the ultimate outline and highlights I got from that Unity bundle. Really recommend checking out for Unity bundle or humble bundles. Those are good so to reduce your development time. Before going to our main this bot fight, let's take a step back and look at the level before. And after some level design for this ship, we have metallic objects at most here and there. The quest spot layer have more distinction than the rest of the level. The brick is unchanged since it's perfect. Boss layer round now look much better. And other things turn obsidian. We have a chest waiting for you. We are close to the end. Now just add some UI stuff like the loading bar and star stream. What do you think about the UI animation? The game can be playing you in K4 with ASWD for move and G for menu, J for attack, K for jump and L for action. Or you can use a controller. I don't have many controller to test. My controller is the Logitech Gamepad F310. This controller fell to the rails so many times I can remember, but it's still working strong. Recommend. After adding the input, it is set to this. You can also show the FPS with that thought, turn it to mask and tell me how the game performs in your machine. Are you ready for the main dish? Let's challenge the skeleton Shinjiro. mentioned earlier the video can be animated first. How unfortunate. Let us the test for some tips. If you don't care about spoilers, you can proceed until all the tips are spilled. Let's try again. Let's be more aggressive this time. I fly so high. Divide that it will. 
This time we could, we can do this. You have none, the boss sickness just feel. Alright, that's it for the demo. What do you think? Tell me your high score in the comments, okay? You can screenshot your high score, share your playthroughs to social media that will help the game too. Now uh, we need around 40k with split to begin show up around on Steam. At the time of making this video, Bollinger already have 100 wristlets. We only need 29,900 more. Can you help? You might think, what is the plan for Bollinger going forward? The layman are very hard, but I managed to finish the core mechanics and gameplay loop for it. This means the next iterations are mostly design, level, enemies, boss, skill, quest, and item. I will do 6 more levels, 5 more boss, and 1 final boss, and the game will be done. So what do you think about the demo? Can share me your thoughts in the comments. Also you can join this go to request feature if you see board and zone fish. I will see you there, thank you for watching my devlog. Special thanks to my patrons, Blackblood and Elsa for your continued love and support. Love you.